Hello everyone, welcome to another YouTube tutorial by AI Sciences. My name is Shazeb Hamid and today the topic of our discussion is text blob. Here we are going to see a few of uh, you know text related operations with the help of text blog. So the first thing that you need are a few libraries, right? So the libraries are of course text blob and other than that you need to download the corpora of this library. So if you do not have these installed, just write pip install dash use text blob and then uh, just uh, you know download the corpora by writing python m text blob dot download corpora so now uh, that you if you have done that the next step is to actually import text blob right so let me put in a few spaces there and let's first import text blob which is uh, available in text blob so let's write from text blob import text t will be bigger and b will be bigger right so text blob after that what is the next step the next step is to actually make a sentence of your own uh, you know understanding so let's suppose uh, i am writing that my sentence is equal to text blob and now i can write the sentence that i want to you know perform processing on so i have already written the sentence i'll just copy paste it So this is my sentence. Let me just bring that here. There we go. So I am reading a blog post on AI sciences and I am loving it. So this is the sentence that I, uh, you know, uh, would like to process, right? So first let's hit shift enter so that this is included into our system after that what is the next step the next step is we can actually see a few things in this uh, you know library for example we can just write my sentences my sentence dot and then i can write noun and then phrases right so phrases so when i write that i'll get the nouns that are available in my system in my sentence basically so let's see what are the nouns that are available here so if we talk about this the blog post is a noun and ai is a noun as well right so uh, this is the way that you can see nouns in any sentence with the help of text blog other than that you can also check out the sentiment analysis and perform tokenization as well so first let's see how we can do the sentiment analysis for that let's write my sentence dot sentiment so when i write that i'll get the complete analysis of the sentiment right so it is saying that the polarity is 0 0.75 and the subjectivity is 0 0.95 now if i want to only see the polarity i can just write dot polarity here and if i want to just see the subjectivity i can write dot subjectivity here right so let's do one of them so here i'll just say dot polarity so now i'll get the polarity like that okay so uh, this is how we can see the sentiment after this uh, we can also perform tokenization with the help of text blog so let's see one of its examples right so for that the first thing that i would like to show you 
is the words that are available in my sentence so for that i'll write my sentence uh, dot words so let's see the words are i am reading a blog post on ai senses i am loving it right so we can actually pluralize and singularize all of the words that are present in this sentence for example if i write the same thing my sentence dot words and after that i write the function dot pluralize so pluralize so it will make sure that everything that is present in this is pluralized like this right so we ams readings some blogs posts ons uh, ai sciences right so the things that uh, can become plural will be pluralized uh, in this and others are giving garbage right other than that uh, we can also showcase the sentences that are available into my sentence for that i have to write my sentence dot sentences and let's run this and it is saying that i am reading a blog post on ai sciences i am loving it so there we go this is the way that we can actually showcase the sentences other than that we can also perform things such as spelling correction with the help of text blog so let's perform a spelling correction so for that i'll have to take a variable b and in this variable i'll uh, you know enter a text blob sentence will which will be wrong in spelling so let's write text blob and in that i'll write uh, something like i have good spelling right something like that so something like that as you can see everything has wrong spelling right so after that i can just uh, print out something like b dot correct right so that it gives me the correct answer so there we go as you can see uh, we have performed spelling collection with the help of text block right here right other than that we can also do something like word frequencies with the help of text blob right so for example if we take the uh, same sentence which is my sentence so there we go let's uh, actually run it again and after that if i say something like my sentence dot word counts so let's see what that gives us dot word underscore counts and in this i give the word something like uh, i right so uh, let's see what happens after this okay so it should have been a word right let's actually change it with reading so now reading has been in this sentence once so let's actually change this sentence and write reading here as well and then as you can see now we have reading twice so this is how we can also calculate the word frequencies with the help of text blob and check the spelling as well right there are a lot of other options uh, which we can also uh, you know functionalities we can do with text blob it is a very uh, good application for nlp based uh, you know work and for uh, for making projects such as chatbots and other things like that right so this is it for this video and keep on watching ai senses for uh, other videos on artificial intelligence and machine learning <laughs>